Today's workout is going to be Gwen. It's 15, 12, 9, clean and jerk for max weight with as much rest in between sets as necessary. For experienced CrossFitters that have done clean and jerks don't know what the what this particular workout is going to feel like. I'm referencing how I feel doing grace. Uh, know that I can do many more than 15 reps in a row in grace at the prescribed weight of 95 pounds. Um, also trying to think about repetitive jerk workouts I've done, repetitive clean workouts I've done. Um, I'm going to try to find a weight that I can do five in a row that feels challenging but not particularly hard because I'm going to have to do 10 more in the first set and then 12 and then nine. When I start to get tired, I just uh, I focus on staying tight, good form, just making, doing my best to make the last reps the cleanest. Because um, if if things start to fall apart, you wind up just, not only are you tired, then also you're taxing muscles you're not used to using. So you're used to moving with good form and then the little connective guys get all irritated. And I feel like that's when I get the most, that, that's what makes me want to quit the most, when something new starts to burn. And I'm just worried, like, am I okay? Is this good pain or am I, you know, am I approaching thresholds I shouldn't be getting near? So I think I focus staying back, keeping myself tight and engaged and present, and then just telling myself don't stop. Like, the sooner you keep moving, the sooner you're over, it's over with. And in a workout like this in particular, you rest in the front rack, that's that much longer you can't breathe because your lungs are getting crushed, or if you rest overhead, that's that much longer you're taxing your shoulders. We'll see how it actually goes in the workout, but the idea is to rest as little as possible, right, so you don't have to recover from the, ec the extra time holding the bar. When you're ready. Definitely took some pressure off. Um, a little taxing on the legs. But I able to press with my hands instead of pull with my hands. Take a second that I could breathe. Tried resting overhead for a second that didn't work at all. Too much stabilizing. But it was fine. I tried to get to eight and then rest as needed to get through those last seven. That was a good stretch. Good work, Sarah. Good work. Countdown seems less daunting. But I definitely noticed definitely more grip fatigue. And my uh, waist resting position didn't work as well because my legs were shaking.
no faith on the last two, bringing it down to my waist. I was gonna hang on. I was like, that nine wasn't as bad, definitely. I'm more tired, but so many fewer reps after that wall that wasn't too bad. Good stuff. Just glad I didn't fail that last jerk.